Samsung announces the Galaxy Note 8.0 for the US and we go hands-on. The next version of Windows Phone 8 to include support for 1080p displays. And Google just pulled a record number of apps from the Play Store. I'm Jaime Rivera, wishing I didn't have to drive 10 miles for my much-needed cup of coffee. And this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Samsung has just announced their Galaxy Note 8.0 that was announced in MWC in Barcelona. The device starts selling in stores on April 11th and so far, well, our review unit arrived a couple of days ago. Obviously, we were under embargo, we couldn't share anything, but our full review for this product is now live and make sure you watch our video, links in the description because it could be a good tablet for you, it could probably not be. So make sure you watch the full video and read the full review. Let's move over to Windows Phone. A lot of people are asking the same question. When are 1080p displays going to be supported by the operating system as this is this year's thing for Android? And as it turns out, GDR3 is the version number of the update that will come in the fall holiday season that will include support for 1080p displays. So if you're expecting it now, sadly, it'll probably be next year's thing as it is this year's thing for Android. Speaking of Windows Phone, let's talk about Nokia as aside from the catwalk rumors and the Lumia 928 rumors, we also have an RM877 device being rumored now for AT&T and it brings all the bells and whistles of the Lumia 920, the same flagship specs, some probable improvements out there. So we could be seeing a new flagship Lumia smartphone coming to AT&T very soon. We're not sure if this is going to supersede the Lumia 920, so just stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. Now let's move over to Google S. Well, the leaks of the Google Play Store version 4.0 yesterday have now become official today. The update is now available to everybody, but it'll take a couple of weeks for it to reach every device. So if you're interested, the APK is in the links in the description. But aside from that, on an interesting note, Google has just pulled between February till today, 60,000 very bad quality applications from their Google Play Store. If you thought that only Apple did curating, well, this is a new hit or miss surprise as Google is now doing the same thing. But it's interesting. These these apps were first approved and then pulled. So make sure you look for your applications. Hopefully they're still there. We're not sure which ones got pulled. 60,000 is a big number. And finally, for the ironic news of the day, Google is now being accused of anti-competitive app practices on Android because if you didn't know, Microsoft was accused years ago, almost a decade ago, for Windows bundling Internet Explorer in Europe as well. And as it turns out, it's Microsoft and Nokia that are actually pushing these accusations in Europe to happen to Android just because they bundle maps and they bundle all these services that actually make Android phones make sense. So that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like an Android device that's bare bones? No Chrome browser, no Google Now, no none of the services that you currently like Android for. In my particular case, honestly, if these weren't bundled in Android, then Android wouldn't really make any sense. And it's really not Google's fault that Microsoft and Nokia cannot figure out mobile as Google has with Android. So leave us a comment down below. I just call this a very bad practice from Microsoft and Nokia. And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, which you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.